Okay, folks. You know, it's been a little while since we got back from Huntsville. Got the camper parked out there. I've uh, put together a little bit of some videos and some little segments to share with y'all. So let's get in here in the shack and check them out. It's Wednesday and we're getting the camper hooked up. Wednesday night, we got it pulled up, fridge plugged in, get everything cool, and Thursday morning, we're on our way. And of course, got to stop at the Athens Bucky's before we get into Huntsville. How do you know you made it to Huntsville? Usually a pretty big sign. That didn't take long. Here we are at the gates. I got to check it in. Please keep in mind, 15 miles an hour within the state park. Slow down and enjoy the beautiful views of Monte Santa, Mont Santa, whatever how you choose to say. It is 15 miles an hour because of all the foot traffic and wildlife that the park has year round. Do want to be mindful of others and the wildlife that lives there. Always think. Man, that'd be a great antenna tower for two meters. Swing it out here a little bit. Right on the line. You have now entered the campground. Wonder how many people we'll see. There's temporarily all flying's campsite. Hey! If you wonder what the glamping tents look like and hadn't looked them up online, well, there you go. Bill with his big green machine trailer there. Come radio tech tonic. There goes Richard the trucking ham waving the red truck down. I spy with my little eyes. Radio to K A M R D. What's this? 2.0. See another familiar vehicle. Yep, that is K M four A C K. That doll hung out there in that chair all weekend. Made the loop, coming back around to our spot. And what's there? What's up with six? Lift the camera up and over. Burn and Renee. And Thursday night, we got all set up, settled in. 
got ready to go hang out with friends. Pretty good crowd this year, just hanging out at the campsite. Let me tell you, y'all don't realize how hard it is to find hot dogs in the Costco. Jim done resorted to looking them up on his phone. All those hot dog buns, they had to be some hot dogs somewhere in the store. Gotta be. I'm the goat. No. <laughs> and this was the load that we had in the back of the Tahoe before we stopped and got, what, what did we get, Jim? Five, six bags of ice? I don't know. We filled ice bags up to like the top of the Tahoe. And enjoy this little conversation. Me and Jim, while. Uh, we look like bobbleheads. Our county is number 73. Uh, so I know that ain't the year you graduated high yeah, school. To everybody else, we were born in 73, probably. So. <laughs> I don't, she went to go get the tag, and whatever she was coming up with was taken or whatever. And so I just scratched that out real quick, and they took it. And I was like, all right, huh? Everybody's wondering where the food is, so here we come, ready or not. This is pulling into the pavilion that we all met at. I think this is probably one of the bigger crowds, biggest maybe, that we've had since we started doing this. Can't hardly tell, but my wife's hollering at folks to get up and go get the food. These folks came and unloaded the truck before I could walk around to the back of it and accidentally gave away some of a, a case of Tio's water. <laughs> Hamburger cooking time. Can you tell people's hunger? <laughs> oh, Pixie. Hello. Thank goodness we had that big old grill, griddle, blackstone. And well on the burgers, Miss Emily 2.0, the door chick on the onions. Miss Renee sitting out the table. It's a group effort, folks, group effort. Let me do some video here. Never mind. Cut, 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 cut. Take two. A huge thank you to everybody that showed up for lunch. Not only was it awesome to socialize with everybody, but the amount of donations and money given that's going to cover the cost of food and then go to Teachers Institute that K5 ATA good game operates at the AWRL. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? One of the locals yeah, from back yeah, home. Man. Yeah, you uh, that, car. That, that was really just the floor, right? Now I got to do all the best. Well, look, what's the catch right here? Chuck, KK6 USY, and Dennis Dinko, 86 AM, DM, something like that. Fake Adam. KO4 AFL, Steve trying to get into the satellite game there. Look at the crowd, waiting for him to do something. Come on, just do something. Satellite, huh? I just walk around and annoy folks trying to have a good meal, eat in peace. <laughs> The 
the camera with the thing in there. They may still walk around this damn store. There's the burn. Well, it has to have the mic adapter. It won't connect directly. Bill, where'd you get them two hamburgers? How you doing, man? I feel pretty good. You got vittles? No. I was authorized. I was authorized. The boss. <laughs> James, Mr. Poda that lives in the park. And there's the group photo that I missed. Pick Bill up, we're going to Giga Parks. But Bill was in the middle of activating the park on two meters, so I gave him my mic. Yankee 4, Kiwi Yankee 4, say again. Kilo. There it is. The Giga Parks. This was their open box shelf. I didn't know they had this. So. We'll save a little bit of money. Look there first. Evidently, there have been a whole bunch of YouTubers that weekend making videos all over the place. So you may have seen some video from inside the Google Parks on other channels. be a pretty good display inside of a shack. A lot of stuff in the store, and uh, I wasn't going to detail and give you a walk around because there's a few channels that's already done that. But me and Bill just hanging out. Bill's still shopping. Kid in the candy store. There's the Poda 20. Back at camp. Jason said, I'll be there about 7.30. He shows up at 7.20. Scooter. Scout 75, Scooter. <laughs> some of the crowd getting into the ham fest, trying to find some parking. It's not very metal of you, Mike. Some of the ham tubers getting, getting set, ready to go. This is before the doors open. Car boy is getting ready for their live stream. Hello. Look, it's a guy with a new, brand new uh, uh, printer. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is that uh, little satellite trailer, tracking satellites. That is a neat little setup. It says Athens.edu.steam. The steam roller. Do y'all remember all that wire that Noel made me throw out cleaning out the shack? Guess where I'm at. Just enough for a lifetime. You can see that over and over. 
And there's the doors opening. There we go. Open the floodgates. It's Kansas County Huntsville. Welcome to 2024. Look how quickly this line for the ticket barrel fills up. Can't even see the freaking barrel here in a minute. Now I gotta go out there and grab my tickets. So this is what you see from the other side. Here's the view of how covered up the little ticket barrel gets. See it? There it is. Blue Dennis Harlow. Oh, wait a minute. That's fine. Until Jim sees this, he probably still had no idea that I was right behind him trying to get his Wi-Fi password. And the flea market's always one of my favorite parts. I mean, all the new bells and whistles over there, that's great. But unique treasures and Maybe some really good prices you may find. Chances of that is going to be out here in the flea market. Yeah. Even if I don't find anything that I just had to have, it's still interesting just to see some of the stuff I've never seen before. may be one of the biggest air-conditioned ham radio fleet marks. And they are live! So we got a couple of last things to see on here from the coffee and ham radio groups to decide on stuff. We've got direct time for trial. Giga Parts booth is always a popular spot. I usually wait till toward the end of the day to go browse around. Look, 2.0, I think he's, I think he's finna sign an autograph. What a guy. You know, back here on Sunday morning, gonna head to the YouTubers Forum in Room 1, scheduled at 10 a.m. You can see the full-length recording of the YouTubers Forum on my channel. Just look for that thumbnail. Pretty good crowd, pretty good little session we had. And we went to go get some uh, supper. Man, just look at Mike's vehicle. That ain't pretty, ain't it? I think it's pretty. <laughs> Electra wanted to go play with the deer.
Whiskey Hotel, Whiskey Huntsville State Park in Alabama. Kilo 5, Yankee, Victor, Yankee. Did I hear Kilo 5, Yankee, Victor, Yankee, QSO? QSL, QSL, you are 5 9 and 10 0 4 8. This might be the first time I got KK5 Live EY in my logbook, so I appreciate it. Uh, you, sir, are moving 5 9 5 9 into US 1048 Huntsville State Park in Alabama. QSL. How about that? QSL, 20 meter park to park contact. Over over here, so in the same park. Three, how fun. K5 YVY. <laughs> 73, Joe. See you later. QSN, this is Kilo Zero Whiskey Hotel Whiskey Park on the Air in Alabama. This is Becky and Mike. You may have seen them. We had them on the um, Clubhouse show. Really fun couple to be around. <laughs> and even funner to watch them make some. CW contacts, they're just having a blast. So I was letting them use my 7300 and I told them to go get their key and hook it up and then realized they didn't have a quarter inch, we didn't have a quarter inch adapter. So I said, hey, you know what? You can use the microphone. So you can set the, the top two buttons on the microphone to act as a keyer. And it's like they have used it all along. Mike wants a 7300. Becky's a little reserved, but I think Becky's almost having more fun than Mike. Kind of hoping Mike gets him a 7300. Yep, Jack's up. That means it is Monday morning and it's time to check out. I don't know why we have to do this thing called work and we can't just live in the park and all be neighbors. It was definitely a, a great time wish it would have lasted longer. There's never enough days to hang out with friends. The town of Moulton has an RV and truck entrance. How about that? Go get us some chicken strips. Thanks, Hardy's. Chicken strips are mighty good. And when you're parking in unfamiliar places, don't forget to install your anti-theft device for your mobile antenna. Bro, don't you dare steal Joe Brett's antenna. <laughs> These are the few of the items that I picked up while at the Ham Fest. And the 3D printer I got at Giga Parts. Been enjoying it. Oh, and the 3D printer that I got from Jim, and look at that, so much for the clean shack floor, huh? So, I'll have to do it again.